Well, after months of living in a medically induced coma, 22 year old Bobby Christina Brown passed away at a hospice in Georgia. Now, three years ago, Bobby's mother, Grammy Award winning Whitney Houston, also passed away. Both have been found unresponsive in a bathtub. Yeah, it's a tragic story of similarities, and it's not the first time we've seen history repeating itself with famous families. Joining us now to help make sense of all of this, we have psychologist Dr. Frida Birnbaum and also pop culture commentator Lisa Durden. Thank you both so much for being Thank with you us. Thank you for having me. And Lisa, I want you to start first because yes. you, know, you interviewed Bobby Christina Brown uh, not long after her mother passed. And mm -hmm. when, it, what year was that? That was like 2011? 2011, okay, uh, so, several months later. Okay, mm -hmm. when you interviewed her, did you get a sense that, that this young girl was in trouble? Absolutely not. When I interviewed her at the uh, red carpet screening of Houston's On Our Own, the Lifetime uh, docuseries, she was excited about the project. She was ready to start a new life. And she wanted to prove to people that she was able to move on and, and, and get on with things and, and actually um, do things on her own. And she had was in great spirits. So I was very shocked when I found out that she was found in the tub. But what was strange is the movie, Whitney, that was aired about a year later, directed by Angela Bassett, was what I I think took her over the edge. There were other elements that played a role, but she had a Twitter battle with uh, Angela Bassett or a blasting of her because she wasn't involved. She didn't get a chance to contribute. And so that show aired on January 17th, and she was found in the tub two weeks later on January 31st. No, Seeing no, the images you, of her... You, you, you're not going to try and blame... Not at all. Uh, you know, no. this, this production is moving. No, no, no. I don't think it's the fault of the production company, or I don't think it's the fault of Lifetime, but I do feel that seeing, I got a sense of her, we talked for hours when we met um, at this event. Um, so seeing her family on screen and going through what has happened to her for 14 years, the drug addiction, the abuse, and all of that was just daunting to her, in my view, because I got a sense that she wanted to move on and move forward. If they would have con helped her contribute to the project, she would have been, been able to tell her story her way, but Maybe, she was not able possibly. to. Possibly. I mean, but we, I, I we don't know. We don't know that. I think it we still have happened, that. but I think it was a, a contributing yeah. factor. I do. Okay. All right. Well, we've seen this before, different celebrities yeah. and their children. I mean, you had Anna Nicole and Daniel, of course, the Tatums, yeah. another one. Yeah. Um, but what is it that contributes to this? I mean, is it that pressure that they have from such ha having such famous family members? Well, you know, Lisa, I hate to say this, but children of celebrities right. are really doomed because there's drugs, there's alcohol, there's divorce, mm -hmm. and these kids live with this. And, you know, addiction with drugs is the same as addiction with fame. You get the same high. Right. Right. And you have to go off of it at times as well. So mm -hmm. it's very difficult. And then there are stages that these kids go through mm -hmm. when they have to be productive and they feel mm -hmm. so entitled. Well, that creates depression. And the second part of it also is when you're educated, you feel that there's some kind of sense of stability. Uh, the Kardashian sisters said they like going to classes because it gives them a good mm -hmm. feeling about themselves. And then the third part is the divorce. The divorce divorce itself that happens when mm. Gwyneth Paltrow said conscious uncoupling was extremely important because she's saying don't hurt the kids. Be very careful to do the right things. Right. So many aspects of what happened with post-traumatic stress syndrome, with Christina, with uh, what happened when two people are getting a divorce yeah. and she had to go through all this. So many different symptoms that she had to go through. Mm -hmm. This woman clearly was in so much pain Absolutely. after her mother passed. Absolutely. I mean, if, if Whitney was still around, oh, do, do you think we'd be telling this story today? I do. I think that... You, you still think, I even if Whitney really, was alive, that, that we'd be talking about... Because well, why is that? Because I'm, I, I have to say this. She's been about 14 or so years in a home that was drug addicted, uh, domestic violence. She was spiraling out of control when he, Whitney Houston was alive. Unfortunately, by that time, she could not have been saved. So I want this to be a wake-up call to all parents out there who, who are drug addicted, alcohol addicted. Just please try to find help because your children don't do as you say. They unfortunately do as you do. I think maybe it would have happened another time, but she was already out of control. It just there were just layers of other things happening. Well, and that's it's a true. Succession. And I hate to say this. I hate to say that drug addiction is something yeah. that is genetic often, and it's really hard to get away from that. Mm -hmm. But if you mm -hmm. have a parent, and her mother was very caring and supportive of her, she lost that. Yeah. And when you lose that, you are on your own, and you really have a lot of difficulty mm -hmm. getting there. By 
by yourself. So what do you do mm -hmm. in this kind of situation? Mm -hmm. Well, psychologically, when you have a connection with your children, right. when you're there for them, this is where celebrities often are doomed with their children. Yeah. Because right. there are some celebrities that do very well with their kids sure, and some that don't. And, and then she was in a, an abusive relationship as so, well. But you know, the kids. reality is that... The, but the, she would the, not the, have drowned in the bathtub. I mean, she mm -hmm. wouldn't have been found in the bathtub if I'm sure if this didn't happen to her mother. So I'm having difficulty right. with that statement. I just want to make that clear. Well, tell me this, right. because the yeah. reality is the people that are watching us right now are celebrities. They're yes. not raising kids right. celebrities. They're raising mm -hmm. regular kids, everyday right. kids. Absolutely. What can all of us take from this? What, what, what's what, the lesson what for need, all of us? Uh, what we need to know, the most important thing is that happiness should come from knowing that our families are all right, our relationships okay, are okay, because stardom could be a fleeting moment as well as when it happens, it's a great ego trip for yourself. Yeah. But and it's think, not really also, something mm -hmm. that you can depend on when you have children mm -hmm. who really need you. So the choices have to be set your priorities Priority straight. straight. Make sure the before straight. And, anything and think, happens. And I think it's not just where about you need to go. rich people. I think right. a lot of people who are even poor are drug addicted. We have to keep this real. Break you that have cycle. to understand that you cannot expect right. to take drugs, have an abusive household, and your children don't follow in your footsteps. And yes, drug addiction is a disease, but it's a preventable disease. We have to know this. Let yeah. this be a wake-up call to everyone. And if I were Bobby Brown, I would feel not so good about myself right yeah. now. And I'm sure he doesn't. Thank you both so much for coming. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much for having um, us. It, it's a, you know, it's a conversation that needs to be had. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a serious business, and you look, we lost yeah. another child mm -hmm. to drugs. At 22. And it's okay. very difficult. And I hope they do an investigation. Well, it, has with, be, it has to be the last word, unfortunately. Yeah. It's very difficult to you. get off of drugs, yeah, it is. even if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. All right, 741 right now. We have to move on and talk about uh, some other stories.